Hey guys, what's up and welcome to LWP MC. So really quick before we get into the video, I'd like to take a second to ask you guys to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy it. All it does is tell YouTube that you enjoy my content and they'll promote it to other people as well, which really helps me out a lot. So if you just take the time to go subscribe and like the video, I'd be really appreciative of it. So let's get right into the video. This video is sponsored by Atoric Games. With their amazing fast hosting, several locations, and upcoming marketplace and services, they are one of the best Minecraft companies out there for your server. With a super sleek panel, it's easy to see why anyone would want to host on a Torque. They make it easy to file manage and plug and manage your server. Check them out using the links below to get amazing deals on services and hosting for your Minecraft server. So, we are going to be taking a look at the Morph plugin today. It's a really cool plugin that allows players to morph into different animals. Um, there are tons of different ones. There's anything from pig to ender dragon. We'll be taking a look at some of these today as well as all the commands that are included in the plugin. So let's get started. The first command is just the morph help command. And everything just pops up really nicely here. If you wanna have this plugin on your own server, um, you do need three different plugins to run it. The Morphe plugin that I will have, that's the base plugin that I'll have all three of these linked in the description, libs disguises and protocol lib for it to be running properly or else you won't be able to see your morphs. The next command we're gonna be taking a look at is the slash morph info command. Let's do morph info pig. It says eating grass restores hunger, which is nice. And then the next command we can do is morph pig. And then we will morph into a pig and we can do all the normal stuff that a Minecraft player would do, except we're a pig. And then if you shift, it makes the noises that you're morphed as. So if I morphed as a pig, it'll oink when I shift. And when I unshift, it won't. So if I was a cow, it would moo instead of oink. And if I was the ender dragon, it would do that like scream that it does. Anyway. Um, so the next command is slash morph toggle. It just disables the abilities for that specific morph. So instead of eating grass to restore hunger, now it doesn't actually restore the hunger of the player when they eat grass. But if we do morph toggle again, they're enabled again. Now we're going to look at the base command really quickly, which is slash morph. And then it brings up a really nice GUI of a bunch of different animals that you can do. And it has a nice settings menu, which enables you to see your own morph or not see it. You can click to use your abilities or you can disable that. And if you want your mob to make sounds, you can enable that right there as well. Um, so uh, the command that actually runs is the slash morph view command. And if you do morph view false, then you can no longer see it. And if you do morph view true, then you can see it. It's very simple. If you want to get out of your morph, all you have to do is type slash unmorph and then you morph back into yourself with that really cool sound sequence which i think is really nice so let's go ahead and maybe morph as um how about into a panda i like pandas they're fun oh this one's sick that's sad the next command we're taking a look at is the slash morph status command and it'll tell us what our current morph is. So it says we are morphed as a panda, which we are, which is really nice um, if you have your morph disabled and you can't really remember what you're morphed as to other players, then you can check that without needing to um, enable your own morph if you don't like seeing it. Now, the next command is slash morph near, and it shows you if there's anyone disguised around you. 
So if you're playing like a uh, hide and seek, then the seeker can use this command to check if there's any morphs around them, which I think is a super cool addition. But I'm the only one on the server right now and the only one disguised, so that's why you can't see anyone morphed. If you want to do this as like a prize for an event or something like that, you can do slash add morph to a specific player and then whatever you want. So let's do add morph cap. And then this will give them the morph in their inventory. So now we can do morph cow if we didn't have it before. And if you want to remove a morph from a player's inventory, then you can do del morph and cow, and they will no longer be able to use it. So those are all the basic commands um, for this plugin, but let's go ahead and hop on over to the config and talk a little bit about that. So this is the config we have right here. And as you can see, we have s lots of different options to change from. Um, if we want to enable sounds and particles, if we want sounds and particles for unmorphing, if we want to allow people to morph into different players that are on the server, and if we want to change it so that no one can see their disguise or everyone can see their disguise, if players can change the fact that they can see themselves or not see themselves in the morph. You can have mobs ignore you while in the morph so that like you don't give away, again, if you're playing like hide and seek or something, uh, you don't want to give away your position by having a skeleton be shooting at you. So they'll just ignore you like that. And then enable worlds. You can have all to get all the worlds or you can list specific worlds that you would like them to be enabled and disabled in. Now you can reset players morphs when they die. You can only reset the current um, one if they die. You can change the morph um, when you gain access to it. So if we were uh, not an operator, we wouldn't have access to any mobs until we kill them. And if they stay morphed on death. So let's change that to true just so we can test that out. Keep morphs through login sessions. So if they log out and log back in, they'll still have their morphs. The morph near radius you can set to as much as you want. Uh, then you can change some uh, morph item lore and titles and things like that have the GUI enabled or disabled, and have death messages as well. So all of that stuff is in this config. It is packed full of features. We are only changing the stay morphed on death. So um, let's save that and hop back into Minecraft. So if we morph reload, then it will reload our configuration. And then if we do the command slash morph, uh, if we do the command slash kill, then we should still keep our morph like that, which is really quite nice that they've done that. So that is pretty much it for the morph plugin. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please make sure to like it and subscribe, as well as check out Atoric Games, our sponsor of the video, down in the description box below. They provide quality hosting for cheap prices, so again, remember to go check them out, and the video is coming up in the screen right now.